Dark.com and the director of the Austin After Dark Film Festival, which is coming up on Sunday, the 17th of July. Hopefully you'll be joining us. One of the films that we are screening is from director Dan Reeser, and his film is called Something, and it placed as a Best Horror Film Award finalist in our spring competition. We're finally going to be able to, to screen that here and finish as Best Director in the Oregon Screams Horror Film Festival Spring 2022. Hey, Dan, thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Man, this is a great film. I mean, if you'd have told me, you know, the judges, actually a judge did tell me, hey, Michael, you got to check this film out. Uh, I think it's, you know, we're going to select it and I, and I think it's going to be a finalist for one of the awards. And I'm like, cool, tell me about it. He's like, well, it's two people in one row. Nice. So I was like, uh, I don't, that doesn't sound like it's going to be cool. It's like, trust me, watch this. It's going to be cool. So <laughs> in your Very own cool. words, give me the synopsis of this one, Dan. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's two people in one room. It's a, it's a short about a, um, a woman who comes home uh, from a night out and finds a dead body in her kitchen and her husband in what seems to be the midst of a, uh, like a mental breakdown. Um, and the husband is convinced that the body on the floor is something other than human. And I'll kind of leave it at that. All right. Well, you definitely captured creepy in this one. And the whole purpose of Austin After Dark was to have content that was intended for a mature audience. Um, yours fits in that, in that horror vein. And I guess a little bit of a sci-fi vein, depending on what's under that cover. Yeah. Um, but uh, very good job with the the judges appreciated the sound design, the edit, the actors really, they just bought in. And that's probably yeah. the most compliments. Yeah. Both of my actors, uh, Carrie Pickering, um, she's a really good friend of mine. I've known her for years and uh, I've never, I, I've worked with her a little bit, but never on something serious. Um, so it was really cool to see her, you know, take that leap. Um, and then Jonah Ray, uh, who some people might know, he's a, he's a pretty popular comedian. Um, and, uh, he's a, another good friend of mine and, uh, same kind of thing. Like I knew that he could do it, but I'd never seen him do it, you know, sort of yell and scream and be so serious. So it was really cool to watch when we were directing it, you know, because it was just like these two actors who are friends and getting to see what they're capable of was, was really awesome. Yeah. You, you bring up something interesting. Someone who's kind of known for comedy. Did, did you have to convince him to take this role or was he like, I need to do something out of the box? No, he, he he's been wanting to do it for a while. He, um, you know, he's, he's a writer, director, filmmaker in his own right. And uh, he loves horror. He's, he's big in the horror world. Um, people might know him from mystery science theater 3000. Also, he was on that, the most recent iteration of it. Um, yeah. And I, I've always kind of thought like, it'd be cool to see Jonah do something serious. Uh, and he actually is gearing up for a feature right now. Um, that's a, it's a horror comedy, but he's the lead and it's, and it's, it's a really big movie with it. Alex Winter is, uh, I think directing it. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really cool. It was a really good opportunity, I think. And he, no, he jumped at it. He read the script and was like, dude, let's do it. Um, cause it was a, you know, just a great opportunity for him to, to show what he can do. That's awesome. What, what are you doing in the future? What do you have planned? Uh, in the future, so I just wrapped up producing a ultra low budget feature with uh, with an old friend of mine. Um, it's not a horror movie, but um, but it it's it's a it's a dramatic comedy, um, and we shot it all here locally in Los Angeles. We shot it for zero zero dollars. We shot it in twelve days, um, but it was a really great experience. So we're gonna go into post on that. And then um, I've been trying to get my second feature film off the ground for almost 10 years now. But, uh, but um, I, I, I've, I've gotten close to one. It's, a, um, it's a, definitely not a comedy. It's a, uh, it's a pretty bleak horror movie uh, set in a junkyard. And it's about it, – it's basically a dog attack movie. So it's Cujo. Cujo meets Don't Breathe. Um, and, yeah, we've uh, been working on it for a while. But uh, it unfortunately requires a real amount of money, uh, which yeah. I don't have. So trying to find that money. I hear that. Well, how yeah. did you start in this business? What was step one for you? Um, I mean, I'd always sort of been one of those kids who like to, you know, make movies and like to goof around with the camera as a kid and, you know, was very heavily influenced by seeing Jurassic Park in theaters when I was like 11. Um but uh, moving out to L.A., I moved out to L.A. in 2005 and uh, been working in TV, mostly in TV, 
um, a lot in post-production, but uh, making movies when I can, making shorts with friends, uh, you know, making web videos, different things like that. Um, I made my first feature in, I shot it in 2012. Uh, and that was a super low budget thing that I, you know, went back home and went into the woods with some friends and made a movie. Um, but yeah, just, you know, just always something I wanted to do. So I didn't go to a real film school. I went to like a communications program kind of thing, but, uh, yeah, just sticking with it and, you know, uh, still haven't gotten to make the big one yet, but, uh, still plugging away and trying to make that happen. Did you learn anything from this specific film? Was there, was there any advice you would like today? Would you give yourself, if you could go back on a time machine and give yourself some advice before you started shooting? Is there anything that you learned from this good or bad? Uh, this short was, was all pretty, was all pretty great. Everything worked out really well. We, um, we shot it in that brief little window in the summer of 2021, like, you know, when COVID, when COVID numbers were down and when the world was opening back up and here in LA, people were taking off their masks and, and we were like, Hey, maybe we have an opportunity. We can actually get together and do something. Um, and it was, you know, it was a one day shoot. It was very bare bones. It was me and my DP and the actors for the most part. Um, but uh, no, I mean, it was kind of the exact way to do it. You know, filmmakers are always asked like, how do you, how do you get stuff made because when you don't have any money, because, you know, we all wish we had more money to make things. Um, and it's, it's exactly that it's figure out a story that is a couple actors and one location, a location you have, that's my kitchen. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, a location you have access to and, um, you know, we all we're horror filmmakers. So we all want to do splattering blood and guts all over the walls if we can. But uh, sometimes you got to think smaller and, you know, work the psychological horror angle because, you know, you don't need as much money to accomplish that. You just need a good script. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, this was a great it was a great experience making the short and it was exactly what I intended. Um, I'm a I'm a big fan of horror that's not quite horror, I guess, like pseudo horror in a sense. Mm -hmm. My feature is very much a walkie talkie two people walking around in the woods movie, but it's also a Bigfoot movie. And this short, as you'll see, uh, for those of you who are going to see it at the festival, um, it's uh, very much the same thing. It's a relationship drama with like just a twinge of a horror <laughs> angle, which is, I, I'm really interested in that. I like it. We're excited to screen it. And I sincerely appreciate your time today. Congrats on your accomplishments with this thank film. You. It really turned out well. Thank you. And yeah. And, and thanks well. to the, yeah, and thanks to everyone um, in the film festival circuit for uh, for having the movie at two of the festivals. It's really awesome. Uh, I was lucky enough to get to go to the Oregon Screams in the spring, and uh, me and my me and my cast and crew we had a, a couple of us came, went up and we had a great time and loved that venue there. And um, sad that we can't be there for uh, for Austin, but uh, hope the screening goes well. Yeah, definitely. Well, we're looking forward to it, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you at a future event. Definitely. Thank you. So, thanks a lot. Take it Bye. easy.